So here's what I think is a neat figure from your textbook, and it kind of looks at all the phenomenon that we looked at at chapter chapter two. It says, all right, so what if we have a hundred units of energy that that hit this part of the Earth, and where do those hundred units go? And so I'll kind of talk you through. We talked about the fact that um, the atmosphere scatters some of those units, and just let's say 30 units get scattered. And let's say that 20 units get absorbed by the atmosphere, um, the atmosphere, the, the gas particles in the atmosphere, and the, the particles in the clouds. And then let's say that 50 units actually um, make it to the geosphere and get absorbed by the Earth's surface. And we talked about convection. Convection are blobs of air relocating. And this is showing you that seven units of, of thermal energy associated with the geosphere get relocated to the atmosphere. Okay, that's kind of cool, convection. And then we're going to talk more about how evaporation actually requires energy, and evaporation has a cooling effect. So this, I don't know if you see this down here, there's this 23 units that the geosphere loses to the atmosphere by, um, by evaporation. And then it shows here that, that, um, that the atmosphere warms actually um, after evaporation of the wa water into water vapor, the atmosphere warms by condensation in the clouds. So it's kind of cool when you see that milky, the milky white clouds form, energy is released. So energy is transferred there from the geosphere to the atmosphere. Here we show, um, here we show that, that kind of re-radiation of, of thermal energy from the geosphere into the atmosphere. Um, notice we're showing 20 units are lost. Um, we had a net 94 um, uh, losing 114. That means 20 are lost. And so if you add, and you might want to um, you know, take the time to look at it in your textbook, because I have. But if you add these three together, the losses of the geosphere into the atmosphere, you get 50 units. So it gained 50 units, and it lost 50 units. Hey, that's pretty good. Balances are nice. And this is just, you know, t this says typical heat budget. So notice that we have some of this re-radiation from the geosphere actually doesn't stop with the atmosphere, but goes all the way out. And so remember we have that, 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 that window in our atmosphere that lets the Earth cool down? That's what that would be. 12 units make it out. What are we missing? Um, and we have uh, the atmosphere um, and clouds re-radiate uh, back out to space, 58 units. And so um, when you add up the 30 plus the 58 plus the 12, you get 100 units back. So 100 units are going out, 100 units came in. And it's just kind of a neat little figure.